Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. In this video, we'll talk about a little bit about Muslim logic, which does not exist. However, uh, I'm just showing you in the screen here in front of you uh, uh, a post made by uh, uh, a Muslima. I believe this is her. All right. So they are saying, and listen carefully, guys. I, I want you please to listen carefully for the Muslims' intelligence. Muslims have amazing intelligence, which you don't have. We have to admit. Now. Uh, Jesus told him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to, me, to, to the Father except through me. Okay, so you like that? You know, the Muslims, they forgot that when Jesus say that, it means he is divine. Because Muhammad cannot say that he is the way, or he is the truth. Actually, one of the names of the God of Islam is the truth, Al-Haq. So obviously, you just admitted that Jesus is the truth, as we see here. And this is why he is the way. And then he is the life, which means he is the one who creates life. And no one can go to heaven except by him, which means there is no salvation but by the Messiah. Well, thank you very much, Muslim Ali, for accepting that. That's a wonderful thing from you to say. Now, as long as you are the one who is quoting this verse and you like it, that is really wonderful. Then the Muslims are making connection between this verse in John 14:6 and this verse in the Quran. Here, which is chapter 43 verse number 63 so what the verse is saying and when Isa Isa supposed to eat Jesus we don't know where Muhammad got this name by the way even the names of Jesus he could not get it right even the name very simple thing because Arab do not use the Isa you see I am an Arab person who grew up in the Middle East who live in the Middle East who's you know uh, uh, we don't use the Isa to talk about the Messiah nobody does except Muslims in Arabic, we call him Yeshua al-Masih. Yeshua is coming from the Hebrew, which is Yeshua. Yeshua al-Masih, which, which means Yeshua the Messiah. Very simple. So, Muhammad Ika Isa, no problem, we will let it go. Then the Quran says, and when uh, Isa come with our clear proofs, he said, I have come to you with uh, with uh, what al hikmah and the prophethood, so I came to you with the wisdom and the science in order to make clear to you some of the points in which you differ. Therefore, Allah, therefore, fear Allah and obey me. Just wait, just wait, just wait. Did he say and obey me? That's that's really a problem because he should say obey Allah. Secondly, uh, Jesus, he came with some. Wisdom and miracles to make things clear. Obviously, you know, uh, Allah is not successful in this field because here we go. There's a three billion Christians believe Jesus is God. Why? Because according to Muslims, Allah gave Jesus, according to Muslims, all the ability to do miracles. Like what? Raising people from death. Man. What else? Create him from the mud, a living creature, and to breathe into him and make him alive. Wow! Jesus can create. Jesus can even tell you what you have in your house. And anyway, let us show the verses so people will not say we are making things up. This is the verse in the front of us, chapter 3, verse number 49, as you see it. And if you read with me, you will find this is a translation of many of the Muslim translation. But however, you need to know that all Muslim translation is false and it is fabricated. As an example, just to show you, so, so you don't trust Islamic translation ever. If you look with me, you will see that the, the word uh, uh, create in this translation became I fashioned for you or I designed. In different translation, Yusuf Ali, I fashioned. Suddenly, Jesus Christ became a fashion designer. I designed for you. Uh, if we go to Yusuf Ali, 
I fashion for you. Like, come on. So I had a phone call anyway. So in here it says I design. In here it says I create. Now, which one of them is telling the truth? For sure, the second one. It says I create. Now. Uh, 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 we spoke about this before. However, when Jesus says, I create, it's mean he is the one who creates. It's not even anyone. The Muslim, they say to you in here, it says, he did by the permission of Allah. It doesn't matter if you say by the permission of Allah or not, because the permission of Allah is just your own statement. Uh, as an example, Allah did not give me permission to expose Islam, but yet I can do it. So obviously, the permission of Allah is used this. What is important is that Jesus can create from the mother bird. Now, to connect this with the, with the image we saw before about that Jesus was giving those miracles in order to make things clear for you. Now, obviously, the God of Islam, he did not make it clear because if this was the purpose, well, you know what? It does, it's not working because the Christians now believe that Jesus is divine and one of the biggest reasons, one of them, not all of them, is what he can do. It is the miracle he can accomplish. He can make the blind see. He can heal the leper. He can raise people from death. You know, he can bring people, he can give a life and give life to the dead. You see it? I give life. Jesus can give life. And he can create it from the mother bird. And he can tell you even what you are hiding in your house, which means he can tell you the unseen. He can read your mind. And he can tell you even what you hide and what you eat. And what do you store in your house? Which means Jesus has knowledge of everything. And then yet you say to the Christians, why do they believe that Jesus is God? If we ask Muslims, what Muhammad have of any of those? The answer, nothing. Zero. Can Muhammad make the blind see? No, a blind man came to Muhammad. Muhammad not only did not make him see, he kicked him out. The verse in the Quran, it's called the Abasa wa Tawalla. Abasa, the chapter of Abasa. Check it out. When the blind man came to Muhammad, Muhammad kicked him out. When the blind man came to Jesus, Jesus made him see. So, can Muhammad make a blind man see? No. Can Muhammad make it from the mother bird, living bird? No. Can Muhammad make the living, the, the, the dead, the living person again? No. Can Muhammad tell you, inform you what you eat, what you hide? No. Can, can Muhammad tell you what you have, you hide in your house? No. So what Muhammad can do? Nothing. And what Jesus can do? Everything. And you believed Muhammad, the one who came with nothing, words over the one who can do everything? You see, just to make it simple for, for people who they are listening. Why the Muslims believe, as an example, that uh, Mary was a virgin when she gave birth to Jesus? Is that because it's logical? No. So why do they not agree about it? Because Muhammad said so. That's it. If Muhammad says she was not, the Muslim, they will be laughing at you now. So Muslims, they are not uh, uh, coming against Christianity because Muhammad convinced them. Uh, just because they are following blindly what Muhammad said. But obviously you are a blind person, Muslims, because or blind people, because here we go, Jesus, he can do everything. And Muhammad, the only thing he can do, he is busy with six years old child having sex with her and fondling her. He is busy putting his tongue in the mouth of little boys. He is busy telling stories about his sexual power of 40 men. And what, the same time, what Jesus was busy with? Making the blind see, healing the leper, giving life to the dead, telling you what do you hide in your house, inform you of what you have in your heart, and can create for you from the mother bird. While Muhammad was busy with telling us stories about the ant and the King Solomon. The ant who saw Solomon, she told her friend to run away before Solomon, he crushed you. What is killing me in that story, by the way, is not only that the ant is deaf 
and the ant don't talk because the ant communicate only by vibration and chemical only. This is their talk, which means they don't have a speech, as the Quran says that Solomon he heard her speech. He heard unbelievable. What is killing me? How the ant she was able to know the name of Solomon. I understand Solomon understand the ant no problem. I will let it go. So the man he heard the deaf one who cannot talk no problem. I will let it go. So the man maybe he understand the vibration and he use maybe he used he start to vibrate too no problem. But how the ant she know the name of Solomon? Only Allah knows. So Muslims, what I'm trying to say to you here. While Muhammad was busy telling you fairy tale stories, Jesus was doing this. And do you know what is this? This is what God can do. Same time your prophet, he did nothing. Absolutely nothing. Was killing people, kidnapping people, stealing money, fighting over an underwear, accused of stealing underwear, having sex with the children, dividing women, golds, you know. This is what your prophet is about. And this is what Jesus is about. So think about it. Think about it. Christ is Lord and Muhammad is the biggest scam on earth. I mean, so yeah.